at your command. No time to rest. Greetings. themselves up. You! You an adventurer? Looking to pad your purse? Find their foxhole. Bring me their chief's head. The fist will reward you well. You'll change your mind once they kill innocent citizens. The only language they'll understand is that of intimidating violence. I agree. But we can't leave our post. Not with all the patriarchs meeting in Worms Rock for the coronation. You have the right look. Solid bones. Steady face. The kind that cleans up vermin for pay. Then you're no friend of the fist. No matter, I'll find someone else. Most folks around here will do almost anything. You pay them enough.
Ready and waiting. Well, certainly waiting. At least things have stayed interesting. Worms Crossing. And this place has been a haven. And Harpers were less than welcome in the city proper. Seems hard to imagine your efforts haven't always been appreciated. And if a patron commits to a member of Star, I'd probably break his nose. Good for him. Looking for lodgings? Don't bother. All the decent places are gone. Damned coronation. I found so many victims for Cazador here. They're the kind of people no one would ever miss. Soon we'll feel the sun on our skin. Bloody ages we spent hiking from Murren, and they won't let us in the city proper. Bollocks. We're adventurous, damn it. The bridge god had some shite about a coronation. Couldn't really make head nor tail of it. Come to Baldur's Gate, he said. Adventurers get welcomed as heroes, he said. Poxy Drim. And his bleeding notions. Word to the wise. Give that ill mate to Temple a wide berth. Rude buggers. Certainly not bringing my trade there again. Does that excuse being rude? Excluding folk? Come off it. They wouldn't let me in. Spouted some tripe about my sword and absolutist murderers. I only wanted to sit down a minute. So did I. Let me show you. Pleasure doing business. I believe I got kicked out of a temple. Stupid bridge guards. Should have dumped a lot of them. got some victuals that'll warm you right up. Have a skeg at these. That 
should do you. turn into mist now. I'm not the only one with new tricks. What do you reckon, lad? You trust these steel watcher thingy jigs? Second that. It's all right where well, we can get work repairing them, but what happens when they build something else to do that? Uh, it's no good, I tell you. Not everyone subscribes to what is mine is yours. The shapeshifter's key fit perfectly. Now. Let's move. Blood near the bed. You notice some blood has pooled on the wooden floor. is the blood source, a body hidden under the bed. regards you lifelessly. Murdered by my son? Charming. She mustn't have nursed him enough as a child. Or too much. The spell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions. I know this key, which I don't 
identical to the one held by that corpse in the tunnels. These tunnels were full of shapeshifters. Father Logan's name is written here too. Father Logan's on here. Crossed off. A target list, perhaps. those organs in these vials. Yuck.
got my rooms to wear away with my underground. And all round the peasant folks. From what I've seen. Give me strength. And if that pinch confuses me for a member I'd probably break his arms. Good. Finest fish caught this morning. What'll it be? Back soon. Fresh catch every day, guaranteed. Forget your worries. Indulge yourself. A weary traveller, battered and bruised. You come for sustenance. No, decadence. A mien cool as ice, yet eyes burning hot. Oh yes, I know your bliss. A sturdy dwarf, a leather whip. She gives, you receive. Or have I misjudged you? Are you blushing? There is no shame in pleasure, even less when the pleasure is pain. It's Fion you seek, our stern librarian. She isn't here today, alas. Your penance must wait. Well, we've other ways to fill your void. A drink for one, a pair of drow for another. Choose your sin. The mother of cats, I pray she didn't suffer. They'll miss that face. Else, the regulars will miss her more. They swarmed her like honeybees at the hive. Oh. Losing Fion slashed a big hole in my coin purse. I should get to replacing her. Sweeting. This is Baldur's Gate. I've seen more murders than a butcher's right eye. There'll be time for tears. Cruel as it is, I must turn my mind to business, or, more precisely, the lack of it. I have little coin, but I offer sin in abundance. Talk with the drow twins in the tap room. They're legends among the regulars, almost myths. Tell them they're your gift from the mamzelle, and let them show you why. Anything else on your mind, sweeting? Damn, Hoots! That new batch burns stronger than a pit fiend's fist. I'll take that as a compliment. Take it however you want. But I'll be having my usual from now on. Oh. 
It's Raphael's favorite misadventurer. You've put me out of pocket, you know. Raphael bet me five sole coins you'd reach the city in one piece. He rented a room upstairs in the hope that you'd drop by. I forget, we've never met. I've had my eyes and ears on you so long we feel like old friends. Carilla is my name. I'm Raphael's assistant, shall we say. Take your time, have a drink, sample the goods. Go see him when you're feeling refreshed. Go see Raphael, then I might let you buy me a drink. You're looking parched, sweetheart. Another tankard? Oh, Stalin. Another sip and I'm like to spill over. My other anchor in for spicier flavours. How about you give me a taste? What'd you say, doll? Have a sit on my lap. Let's see what pops up. Darling, how you set me a quiver. You are a beast among men. No, a dragon, setting my phoenix nest aflame. <sighs> I shall slake your first dragon. You will part your lips and drink of my essence. Oh, I will drink your essence. Hoots, order up! Another tankard for the fist! Now, that there's a face I'd remember if I'd seen it. Welcome to Charesse's Caress. What can Hoots do for you, stranger? You got a taste for ale, I reckon. Or maybe... Ah, forget it. My new brew could drop you in the wink of a spectator's eye. Charess Caress, the Mamsel's brainchild. Wet your tongue, soak your skin, scratch your itch. Get the attention you want and avoid the attention you don't. My business is slinging tankards, not hoarding secrets. I'd like to keep it that way. But you poke some folk hard enough, they're bound to squeal. And Mamzelle Amira there looks about ready to burst. The dwarf you crave, whip in hand. Go on, tell me I'm wrong. Am I? Your eyes tell a story, sweetie. You crave more than pleasure, you crave penance. Alas, Fion, our stern librarian, has recently passed on. Well, we've other ways to fill your void. A drink for one, a pair of drow for another. Choose your sin. Indeed he did. Raphael, exceedingly handsome and with a voice that could make the foulest blasphemy seem the sweetest hymn.
A new face? Looking for another chapter of dirty law for your biography? You have but to ask, and we can grant you a moment of pleasure. Don't be shy. I used to work as a courtesan back home, and my sister as an artisanal masseuse. But men are treated like dogs by the Underdark's matriarchs, so we fled. We found surfaces crave the body of a drow like a drug. Life is easy in our line of work. Perhaps, once we have saved more gold, another adventure will begin. We've had busier days, but life is comfortable here with Mamzelle. I'd have to restrain myself far more than any play bindings do if I worked in another field. This is a place where I can be myself boundlessly. There are so many who come to me speaking of a fixation that no one else has ever been able to share with them, and never will again. A once-in-a-lifetime moment of passion every day. What could be better? Don't you want to try it? Trust me, you don't want to miss my signature Mezzo Baranzan love trick. And is that your partner with you? What a gorgeous couple. Perhaps we could come to an agreement. We are twins. We can make up a little show of kissing each other, but when we are hired at the same time, there are often many other clients in the room to attend to. <laughs> we want both of you, silly. At the same time. Well, it's a fascinating prospect. I'd like you all to myself. At least the first time. <laughs> I'm glad. Provided we survive, there's plenty of nights yet to come. Scant few customers today. This might end up being the first day in years I end with my hand alone for company. You keep scaring your regulars off, Swan. That blacksmith was paying me to use the clamping device. You can stare as much as you like. Nine hells! You followed me all the way here? What could you possibly want with me now? What? How? Nine hells. D whatever you think you know, I I I'm sure some gold would help you to forget. I'm just a simple toy maker, an artisan. I don't know anything. They would have killed me if I refused to rig the toys. And they're definitely going to kill me now. I can't tell you. I won't tell you.
All right, all right. Just don't hurt me. The teddy bears were an experiment. My greatest invention. A clever little device in their chest allows them to speak. But there's more. Smoke powder. Inside the device, I collect packages from Veloga's fireworks in the lower city and stuff the bears with it. Not because I want to. Because I have to. <laughs> Otherwise, they'll kill me. It sounds terrible when you put it like that, but maybe you can put a stop to this whole operation. I, I don't know who's in charge, but it starts at the fireworks shop. That's where the packages come from. Go there, tell them Uncle Felogia sent you, and they'll show you the smoke powder. Lots of it. There. I told you what you wanted to know. Uh, now, will you let me go? His plea comes with an offering. A pass granting you access to the lower city. I will, thank you. Thank you so much. the fiddling. Throw a few coins our way and let us play on into the night. Not that type of service down here, love. I've got a husband. And you ain't my type. Oh, thank the gods. I've had too many miscreants think my kitchen's just another themed playroom. I suppose, if you're willing to pay for it. Now get out from under my feet, would you? That was the finest street from I've made. They just ate it off each other's asses. You're all right. Two men bark softly to each other. A single name reaches your ears. Nine Fingers. It's a name you know, 
Nine Fingers is the head of the Guild, a criminal organization operating inside Baldur's Gate. with the guild now. Heard Nine Fingers met a match. The new kingpin? All meat and muscle, that one. And wild as a werebear. If he's looking to house Nine Fingers, my blade's got his back. Sounds messy as the ninth hell. Must be why she called us to help. Is that right? The way I heard it, you Zent cut a deal with the new... Hold on. You there! Getting up in our affairs. Nine fingers won't be happy about Zenovia, and I'm not about to tell her. Better you than me. Now listen, I'll only say this once. Lower City, Basilisk Gate, Guild All. And that's all you're getting from me. Now scram! The chat's officially closed. I like that I went to be rid of that room. Isn't right. Not looking for more company. Another case closed, another bottle open! Huzzah to Valeria! <laughs> Hang on a tick. I recognize that face. You were talking to Yanis after I left the temple. I'll bet she's put you up to something. Why must you busybodies insist on interrupting a perfectly good night? Ugh, I know that look. You remind me of Devella. Fine! If you doubt my conclusions, out with it. What have you found? My assistant. She's posted in the Lower City investigating Duke Stelmane's murder. Now, back to it. What have you found? A Baal plot. You as well? Devella's been harping on about Baal for months. Fancies herself something of an expert. I assumed it was just a bunch of conspiracy codswallop and fear-mongering. But she's been unusually insistent about this one, even for her. Oh, fine. I'll bite. What's your theory? No need to wave documents at me. I'm already drowning in paperwork as it is. Constable Devella is going to be a real pain in the trunk about this. Since you seem to be on an obnoxiously similar wavelength, why don't you seek her out? She'll be at the Elf Song Tavern. Show her the list, and I'll stay and inform the Fist here. Oh, and you'll need this pass. 
It'll give you access to the lower city. Well? What are you waiting for? You've a bloody conspiracy to solve. Move! Nymph's Grotto. Moan loudly in the library at all times. Beautiful. More than beautiful. You are the aurora stretched across the north skies. You are the golden dune swept across the Kalim. You are the fruit of the forbidden palm. Soft on my skin. Sweet on my tongue. You are my sin and salvation. Your parasite stirs, and you gaze at the nymph through the flaming fist's hungry eyes. Your muscles shiver with her longing. Your skin burns with her heat. What's... What's wrong, Jara? What are you? Wait, I know you. I 
I don't understand. What? Your face. The Absolute has shown me. Jaro, what's going on? Who's this man? Your head screams in agony. The change has come. Pustules boiling beneath your skin, your bones twisting, your flesh rupturing. And suddenly, silence. What's happening? This is worth the cost. What must be done? I'd heard tales of mind flayers, talons sharp as daggers, and tentacles yet more fearsome. But no tail did justice to its ethereal beauty. It floats like a butterfly. Its blood shimmers like silver. How could I help it? I don't regret its death. But I marvel that such a work of art could ever live. Her gaze intensifies. Your breath quickens and your heart skips a beat. The woman's senses are heightened and her fire stoked. The mind flare is no mere curiosity, but an object of desire. Why should I deny it? My urge is as natural as the grape upon the vine. But perhaps there are other flavors that might satisfy my palate. <laughs> I offer something rarer than coin. Rapture. Close your eyes. And listen. Shh. Free your mind. You see only darkness. Her voice shines through it, warmer than the sun, yet cooler than night. The all being. Here. There is no suffering. Here, you want for nothing. Here, you are anything. You have one word. Tell me, what will you be? You are more than contented. You are at total peace. Your belly is full, 
Your mind rested, your eyes bright. No more will you hear the clang of steel on steel. No more will you fear the cry of a wolf, the growl of an ogre. You are warm. You are safe. Your flesh shivers, your heart bursts. True ecstasy for one fleeting moment. Open your eyes. I'll remember you, and you'll remember me.